Today we want to take a look at the A148 on grade dowel drill. Um, we're going to introduce you to the rest of the family here, look at how to run them and give you some maintenance tips. So here we have Minnick's smallest unit. This is the A124. Um, it's made to fit within a 24 inch trench and uh, it can drill a seven inch deep hole. It comes with a 15 pound hammer that requires 30 weight uh, motor oil. And as far as air requirements go, uh, 92.5 CFM at 100 PSI. So this is the next size up. This is the A130 made to go in a 30 inch trench. Um, it has a 30 pound hammer. This one requires regular uh, rock drill oil at 100 weight. It can drill a 10 inch hole. As far as uh, air requirements go, 92 CFM at 100 PSI. Uh, the next size we offer is the A136 made to go in a 36 inch trench. Um, it comes with a 50 pound hammer and can drill a 10 inch hole. Air requirements are 92 CFM and 120 PSI. And so this is the largest on-grade uh, drill that we offer. This is the A148. Uh, again, it can fit into a 48-inch trench. It comes with a 50-pound hammer. It can drill an 18-inch hole. As far as air requirements, this one takes uh, 92 CFM with 120 PSI. Keep in mind that uh, anything I talk about on the A148 also applies to our other smaller units as they're all built the same. They're just shorter versions. When hooking up your air, um, you want to clear the uh, the air hose of any dust or debris, and run some air through it before you connect to the machine itself. Before filling the oil, um, make sure you disconnect your uh, main air source and then press this red button just to release any residual air uh, before you unloosen this. You wanna check your oil level, you wanna fill just to the bottom of the threads here. Also your adjustment is on the inside. To adjust the oil flow uh, that you're getting to your hammer, the adjustment is in here. The flathead screwdriver uh, slot you can use to dial forward or back uh, to restrict or allow more oil uh, to reach your hammer. Just remember that your drill steel under collar needs to be four and a quarter inches, uh, not three and a quarter. And we do have a reminder here that it's four and a quarter. Okay, the easiest way to put the drill steel uh, in the hammer is to actually tip it up on end and let it rest that way. Then you want to open the latch, and then you can slide the drill steel up in and put the latch down. And remember, it should turn one way, but not the other. To set the depth of the hole that you want to drill, you want to feed the drill steel so it's touching the concrete slab, and then make your measurement between the stop pad and the depth stop bolt. Um, and that will be your actual depth that you're drilling. As far as the, the height adjustment on the slab, on both sides of the drill, there's uh, two sets and two sets of uh, 9 16 hex bolts. And if we loosen those, then we can slide this up and down the rails here to lower and heighten the machine. As far as leveling the uh, drills, drills rail, um, you can just set a level on there, and then you can also make the same adjustments we did for height um, with the leveling. One really nice feature uh, about these drills is the ability to turn the wheels so that they'll run parallel with the slab. And you do that just by removing the pin, turning the wheel, and resetting the pin. As far as maintenance goes, you know, make sure you grease your, your grease fittings. There's some on the, the tires there. You also need to know that the tires are foam filled. Uh, so don't try to put air in them. With your oil reservoir, you want to fill about every two hours of drilling, um, but it never hurts to check the levels. When you're done drilling for the day or you want to disconnect your air source, uh, turn it off at the compressor first, and then um, in order to clear the air that might be still uh, residual in the machine, you can just pull the drill handle and it'll go out. Now in this unit, we're displaying the snorkel, which is the dust collection option, and it slides in. It can fit on any of our machines. Um, as you can see, it has the fire hose uh, connection, and so you would just connect the hose that's connected to your dust collection unit, and you're good to go. There's two areas to check to make sure you're getting enough rock drill oil to your hammer. Right here at the exhaust, you should get just a real fine oily film. You can feel that on your fingers, just on the inside. And then also right here at the drill steel collar, um, you should have a little bit of oil around there. Uh, another thing you want to do uh, daily before you use the machine is just kind of look your bolts over, make sure there's nothing rattling, uh, everything's snug. Um, this particular collar right here needs to be snug and not over tightened. Uh, over tightening it here can actually choke off the, um, the throat of the uh, collar and not allow your drill seal to function properly. 
One really great feature about uh, these Minic drills is you can configure them and move parts around to drill in four different drilling positions. Uh, we have another video on our website that shows that, so please check that out. Please double check that you're wearing all the appropriate personal protective equipment before operating the machine. Uh, we do care about your safety here at Minic. So the actual drilling process will look like this. You'll feed the drill in so that the drill steel is touching the concrete slab and then you'll pull the drill uh, handle and you want to hold that in until you reach your desired depth and then you want to uh, keep the drill going while you release the feed. That vibration will help the drill actually uh, retract out of the hole. So that process will look like this.